Let's learn how to do this 2.5D parallax effect. Here in Edit tab, click Add Effects. Go for Toolbox and search for Fusion Composition. Click and drag it into the timeline. Let's go now to the Fusion tab. Click here in this icon to create this background node. Now, I'm going to add my picture here into the project using this media window. I'll click and drag the picture into this window to convert it into a node. And now let's begin the connections. I'll click in the background end and connect it into the media out and also change this value of alpha all the way down to zero. Now I'm going to click here in this icon to better view my composition. I'll click in the picture node and add it into the background just like I'm doing. This merge node will be automatically generated and my picture here is in the wrong aspect ratio. To fix that, all we need to do is go here at Files, Project Settings and check this box to use vertical resolution. There are plenty of options but be careful to the processing power of your computer. I'll save it and that's what I'm talking about. Now, with the media in, in other words, your picture selected, I'll use the shortcut Spacebar plus Shift and search for Transform or XF. We will do that in order to zoom out the picture. I'll drag them here to the side a bit and I'll click in the transform node. You can change the sizes here a bit, but sometimes there will be not enough. Let's say your picture here at the sides, or at the bottom, or top portions of the picture is just missing something. To fix that, you can change the selection to mirror instead of Canva. But this will create some significant distortions depending on the picture that you have. I'll resize it in a manner that some of its content is actually outside of the viewing window. This would be crucial for the effect to work. Now, we need to click and copy the notes that we just made and paste them at this portion right here. When we connect again this last node into this line, another merge will appear indicating to us that everything is fine. One of the pair will be the background and the other one, the one that we've just pasted, will be the object itself. To create the object, we will need to click here in this polygon icon and add it into our media in at the right side of the window. Now, we need to create a selection and be the most accurate as we can to select the woman of the frame right here. After the selection is done, click in this transform 1 underline 1 here and press the shortcut spacebar plus shift again. In this window, search and add the transform node to it. I'll drag it in upward and click in this transform tool. Go to the initial frame here and click in this diamond icon. Then go to the last frame of it, in this case it's 119 and change the size to 1.1. The effect applied should look like this. Then I'm going to drag these nodes upward and click at this transform 1. Do the keyboard shortcut again, shift plus spacebar and search for DVE. This will rotate the background a bit. We will click in these diamonds related to X and Y here at the beginning of the video and, again, we will go to the end and change the values to 10 this time. The effect should look like this. One last setting of this DVE is this Z move. Click to keyframe it at the beginning and, at the end, change its value to 1.05. Alright, we have this problem here that my background is missing. To fix that quickly and easy, click in this transform 1 and change the Canva option to mirror. Fixed. The last touch that you can give is changing the pivot of your selection to actually be in the front of the background and not show this double jacket right here. And also, here in Polygon, increase the soft edge by a slight bit to make it with smoother edges from your selection. That was everything. Thanks for watching.